Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm um, actually headed to lunch right now from the office. Um, so I wanted to um, answer some questions that I got today. And I'm gonna give everybody a second to get their notifications and hop on. Um, but so I'm gonna try to do these Q&A days um, at least once a week so I can answer any questions that I get. Um, you can post your questions in the group. You can all announce it and you can post your questions in the comments below that as well. So today um, I got a really good question and it's how to stay on track when everyone else around you is not eating healthy. So I have a family of, there's five of us, so that's a really good question. That's something that I've had to um, work around myself because uh, my family doesn't necessarily want to eat as healthy as I am. And my husband is like the worst at, um, he's like the worst influence when it comes to sweets because he has a big sweet tooth. Um, so he's always eating sweets and he loves dessert and that's like my biggest downfall. So to have uh, my husband eating dessert every night um, is kind of hard and he's even more of a worse influence because he's like, well, if you want it, just eat it. And like men just don't have to work as hard as we do about this whole weight thing and health and um, you know, he's, he's like super skinny and he can eat anything and not gain weight. So it's, it's probably not good because then he's not going to realize um, the damage that he's doing uh, to his body by eating all the sugar he does. I tell him that all the time too. And he just goes, well, whatever, I'll deal with it when I have to. And you know, some people have that approach. So um, I have five ways to stay on track when everybody else around you is not. So one of the things that I do is that it's saying my connection is weak, so I'm hoping this is all working and going through. Um, but so I will buy stuff that for, for my kids and for my husband that I know that they like that I could take or leave. So I'm a huge, I love ice cream and I love chocolate. Um, so they are, they all love ice cream and chocolate too, but if I got them like fruity stuff, like my husband really likes, um, fruit pies and like to me, a store-bought fruit pie, I won't, I won't eat because it's not as good as homemade. So <laughs> I'll buy him those more than I'll make them. Um, so I buy things that they like that I know that I don't really care too much about, like fruity stuff, um, you know, like fruit, uh, cookies or whatever, or they really like sherbet and me, I'm like, eh, I'd rather have vanilla ice cream. Um, so I'll buy the stuff they like that I know I don't really like. So then it's not as much of a temptation. And another thing I do is I make adjustments to our meals. So when we have burritos or tacos, they'll have a flour tortilla. Um, I'll do corn tortillas if I'm going to do a taco. Um, or I will just do mix up a, a um, bleh. <laughs> I'll just mix up a salad instead. So I'll make a taco salad. So I try to make my, um, I don't make two different meals for all of us. I adjust all the meals that I make, but I'm, I cook at home a lot. And so if you're cooking at home a lot, that is really helpful to your healthy eating, eating journey um, because your stuff is going to be more healthy anyway. And you can just make slight changes and variations for yourself than what your family is eating, but then you don't really feel left out. So, um, you know, another thing is, is like if uh, I'm making like oven fries or whatever, I'll just eat a little bit of them. Like I won't eat a lot of them and then I don't feel so bad and then I, I still kind of get that, you know, like okay, I got a couple fries, I feel good. <laughs> like, I don't feel like I had to resist this huge temptation. And I've noticed that doing that over time, I'm like, yeah, okay, and you know, it's okay, I'm, I'm good, I can pass on more and more. It takes time to build that up, um, but if you just work on that in little steps, um, then eventually over time, it starts to really sink in and help. The other thing I do, I focus on the healthy foods I can have. So instead of saying, well, you know, I can't have these french fries or I can't have ice cream, I think about all the foods that I can have that I like that are going to help me feel like satisfied about any cravings that I get. So um, like at night I'll do Greek yogurt with a little honey on it or I'll do um, dark chocolate covered almonds, you know, something that's like a little bit healthier and um, 
but still gives me that satisfaction of, okay, I got some chocolate and I also eat almonds with it. So, it, you know, it's a good combination. Um, with other things like potatoes and rice. So, like I said, with the um, potatoes and the French fries, um, just have a little bit. Don't have a lot. Just have a, a few. Just enough to, you know, make you feel like you didn't have to completely resist. Um, and I know that some of us have a hard time eating just one. So maybe don't make that stuff as often. Like, try to find a substitute. Something that is healthier, that everybody in the family will like. Instead of, you know, making the fries or the potatoes or rice or whatever it is. Um, with rice, make brown rice instead. Try it. Um, it depends on how I cook it for my family. If I make just, you know, brown rice and there's like not a lot to it, they kind of grumble about that. So <laughs> you just have to try. You just have to find things that um, can replace some of that stuff that your family will end up liking. And, um, you know, encourage your family to make some changes. My family's, like when you talk to them about it, they're like, oh gosh, mom, you're so boring. Like, why can't we just have french fries every night for dinner <laughs> or eat... Um, you know, those chicken dino nuggets or whatever it may be. Um, but I've actually made them eat healthier without them even realizing it. So I buy whole wheat pasta, but I make sure, like I go to Trader Joe's and they have this one whole wheat pasta that I really like. The family doesn't even know the difference. They'll gobble it down the same as regular pasta. So they're eating, I'm making these small little changes in their diet without them even knowing it. We eat whole wheat bread. Um, that I've had to ease into because they were all used to eating like not the greatest quality whole wheat, so I kind of step it up a little bit and I, you know, I, I'm trying to ease into eating healthier and healthier breads. Um, increase the fruit and vegetable intake, so the vegetables that you know your family likes, make them more and make a couple of those for dinner or for a meal. And then, you know, if everybody has this habit, like they do in my house, of eating dessert every night and like everybody around you is eating dessert except for you, um, come up with a healthy alternative, like I said, with the yogurt or the chocolate covered almonds, something that's, you know, pretty healthy that doesn't have a whole lot of sugar and doesn't have, um, you know, a lot of fat like ice cream. So, or you can, you can change it up. You can change up your routine and when they go to have, um, their treat, go walk outside, go take a walk out front or, um, go outside and, you know, if you have animals go play with the animals or you know just make something different go in your room and read a book come up with a different routine when that's happening that way you're kind of removing yourself from watching them having treat but you're also changing your habit of eating dessert by doing something else and when we can replace the routines in our habits then we can start making changes it's not gonna be perfect, you're not always gonna do it perfect, and don't be hard on yourself if you're not, because um, that's not gonna help you any at all. You know my motto when it comes to that is give yourself grace, because seriously, you're gonna be your biggest cheerleader in this, and your family's gonna see that you make these changes, they're gonna start noticing the difference, and they're gonna start really being impressed with that. You know, my kids have started becoming more aware of the sugar that they're eating, and realizing that, oh, okay, this isn't that great for me, well, okay, you know, they're aware of it, and that's just a step, that's one step. Um, and when you're starting to shift some of the things they're eating without knowing, <laughs> then it's even bigger step. So, um, I hope that these tips have helped you guys, and, um, save up your questions for next week and let me know. I'll be collecting them through the week and then next week also we can talk about more stuff. So I hope everybody has a good Wednesday and I will talk to you all later.